Everything? Yes. All right, this was a mix scrim um, where we mixed Robot House and Animal Farm teams. So, this is something that we've been trying out recently. Um, there you go. They're running that junk rep, uh, Torbjorn, so I know I could get easy charge that way. Oh, this is what they're doing instead of triple support. Oh my god. That was a lot of junk rats down. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna be super quiet in this, because apparently my mic was super quiet. We got pulled down. And bubbling my Reinhardt, because he's swinging and he's gonna be getting focused. Oh, push, push, push. First two mercy. this. Yeah, that mercy in that room was a feed. There's a mercy. There's a mercy. Do we go back high or do we stay high? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we can, yeah. Also, we're all figuring out this map too. We don't really understand the right way to play it yet. But... Yeah, I definitely don't. This is the bad part of playing, sorry, on defense, is you just have to sit there and watch your charge go down and be sad. <laughs> yeah, painful. Yeah. Yeah. The important thing is if you're if you're willing to engage, you're willing to build up that charge. I shouldn't have jumped down there, that was bad. But we got that tire which saved us. But if you're willing to go down, you're willing to engage, you're willing to build up charge and, and put yourself out there, you can you can build up all pretty quick. Um, I'm not sure what the point behind that bubble was, but I got my life saved by that alt. Oh, was I trapped and I bubbled myself? Oh, I really... I just fell down on my I don't think I can res lag. Oh, I think I saw the diva yeah, ulting. Right. Or not ulting, but lasering, and I tried to get, but I fell behind the car. It was a bad bubble. I didn't get any charge for it. Like, I got trapped, just I'm also bubbling very aggressively despite being high charge. You think we should probably let them push a little bit just to play more of the map? Do you ever, um, do you like the little four square method for deaths? No, I don't know what that is. Alright, I heard somewhere... I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, every time you die, you'll have a little notepad next to you with four squares on it. And one square will be positioning. Uh, the next square will be game sense. The third square is mechanical and aim. And then the last one's just like a good death, right? And every time you die, you'll say you'll watch it and you'll be like, I died because I had poor positioning. Or I didn't understand how that worked and it beat me. Or you know what, they just flat out out aimed me. A good death is like my whole team died and I jumped on the payload and stalled it till I died. Or I jumped off the map because my whole team died. Okay. Things like that. And that just helps you kind of identify what you need to work on. Um It does get kind of confusing sometimes because positioning and game sense overlap a lot, but it's just something to think about. Every time I die, I try to think about why I died there. Yeah, I've done that a little bit, but I think seeing it <laughs> overall, like keeping the tally would really help. Yeah, it helps you know, like, this is what I need to work on. That doesn't work because it'll stop as soon as... Alright, see, I push, I'm pushing tab pretty much any time I'm not in a fight. I want to see what's going on. That is the hardest jinx I've ever heard. You guys are going to get team wiped this yeah. fight. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 we have Shatter. I'm, I'm champions at that, by the way. Alright, here Hadrim said that we should let them push a little bit so we can see more of the map. That's like a joke, which was where it all starts to go wrong. Here I am, I was just trying to distract them so our Reinhardt could get a Shatter, it was kind of a bad move. But he did get the charge. I have grabbed, I threw it immediately! I was like, I'm just gonna go in and throw it, they're DB8. It was just bad luck. Guys, I'm in the middle of everyone. I don't think I telegraphed that, I think she just was ready for DM to just got it. There's Zenyatta did ult though, because he wasn't ready for it to be eaten. See, jump in front of those. My Reinhardt turned me, he's looking for Shadow, so I'm going to try to keep him so he can win the fight against their Reinhardt. Wow, that was bad. Alright, I tried to bubble myself behind, but I got caught behind you. You guys got this. You don't have any, uh, you only have a Zen, though, so. Yeah. 
My team was dead, so I could have like pushed on that deep and all that shit, but if I shatter this, we were dead, so I was dying on the card. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we decided enough of us were back that we could shatter and win it. And it's not really anything else for me to trance. <laughs> I wanted to shoot at that dude. Alright, so we don't have anything. I don't think they have anything though. Maybe we shatter? Shatter. I'm halfway to another dragon. I really wanted the boat to just crash into the side when you kill him. Alright, I'm just gonna watch the Ryan try to make him lose yeah. his vault. Shows you, you don't need those dudes. They're unnecessary. Alright, so we think they have shatter. Um, when I think they have Shatter, I always fall for this. Um, I'll push really aggressively on the Reinhardt, and every time he looks like he's gonna Shatter, I'm gonna try the bubble in front of it. Oh, I'm lagging out here. Which means, here I gotta grab again, check it out. What am I gonna do? I gotta eat again. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Yeah. Actually, it would've been a bad grab anyway, man. Yeah. Three of my team were dead already. Um. Yeah, it happens. It's sad. I don't remember what we were well, talking about. Hadrim had his wish. Okay. <laughs> we did it for you, Hadrim. I also, what a oh, nice yeah. golden weapon. Take a point. Yeah, I do like that combo with the monster uh, thing. Uh, maybe around the corner or up Hello. top. Uh, but yeah, watching, mm -hmm. even if you don't have somebody review them, watching your own VODs is always a good way to improve. That makes no sense. Alright, going up top. But again, it's always better to have somebody there, and I'm always down to watch, because honestly, reviewing other people's play helps oh, yeah, me improve mine too. Okay. Oh, I remember what I was saying. When I think their Reinhardt has Shatter, I'm going to be like playing super aggressively in his face, and every time he drops that shield, I'm going to bubble myself, because I think he's about to Shatter, which... Most of the time, it's not. It's either him just trying to swap me away or fire strike, which gets me, you know, some charge. But then I don't have the bubble for when he does ult. But sometimes I do block the chatter, and it makes it all worth it, in my opinion. There's a soldier behind uh, the left. Soldier on the left. So we're all alive. Soldier's uh, up here, which is oh, feeding. The cart's just kind of uh, pretty pushed. That was a bad bubble on my part. I don't know what I expected to happen. I just saw the Reinhardt charging forward with the shield down. I was like, I got a bubble. Yeah, it's just that was two bad bubbles because I didn't get anything for that either. I got three bad bubbles. Yeah. I used three bubbles. I stayed zero charged the whole time. No bueno. I have dragon again. I pull a sleepy right here. Yeah, see, we're not in a fight, I'm spamming tab. It's really quick, because I already know what I want to see. So it's annoying when we're watching it back, so I can't actually see it, but... <laughs> now they got a forest, so here's me trying to build up charge off a far, which I actually got it off the diva there. <laughs> Did you get her? I got the charge off the diva, but... Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. It, yeah, charge, not, not all charge. One. Uh, here they got the shatter, but somehow the Hanzo didn't go down. I just focused him because I figured the rest of my team would down. Yep. Here I got grab again, but I'm not using it because we've already won this fight. And also because it's at the easy end. Here I stand in it. It's a charge for him. Whew. That's actually a pretty bad stagger that just happened at it. Shouldn't have happened. We should back up. We should have retreated further back. That fire is coming for us. Come up top, we can drop down. Well, I guess this first half was pretty bad for me. Um, this Reinhardt's up here? We don't know what he was doing up here, but he just kind of... It was farther than I expected to be. He's kind of let him go. We're down two. Fight's over. Oh, my mercy, just right, in case. You're, well you're two down still, guys. You guys are back to two down. Yeah, we shouldn't have res when we were already down two. Uh, I think he got the rest of my team because they were in front of me, but like he ulted there, I was bubbled. Oh, don't go in, don't go. Alright, now this Run is the feed. Yeah. Check this out. Back. Run. Only have one Do your charge. Oh, yeah. Yep. The, the, the smart move is there. Oof.
I have to run across this open field against the Fara and the Diva and the rest of their team. I'm never going to make it. I thought if I bubbled myself, it would give me enough time and HP to get across. But I should have known it wouldn't. Should have just gone on the cart. Yeah, that's a hard... You almost made it. Run back, yeah. Sorry, yeah. If I just jumped on the cart, they wouldn't have been pushing it that whole time. And... Yeah. And the Hanzo, too, yeah. It, it just wasn't going to happen. Oh, actually, everyone should group up with me on the right side. And I will tell you, even, floor. like, for me, Rally I've been holding this crap for a long time. Diva bomb. Three, two, one. Yeah. That was so upsetting when that happened. Okay. So we... We shattered, right? Um, this is pretty much, if not the last fight, it's the second to last fight. We shatter. They're all down. We're not going to, um, I think the Mercy's still up and the Fire's still up. I know we're not going to be able to kill them all, so I'm going to try to throw a grab behind them and pull them in. It will chew up some time. My Reinhardt can swing into it, start building his ult back and all that. That was the plan. Instead, I throw it and I clip this wall and it just it stops here. And ah, I get okay. Yep. So, in this defense, I pressed Q three times and I grabbed exactly zero people. But that makes this, this now is the last fight. No matter what. This is also the comp that we've been running a lot. Oh, that was perfect, right when I said that. I don't know if you and Mongoose is like... It's pretty, this is pretty much meta right now is Ryan Zarya, triple support, and then one DPS and Hanzo's, Hanzo or Far is very good at that because they counter the, the Bridget, who's the bullshit of the game right now. Yes, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a fan. Yeah. I hate this meta. I mean, I, I always I always like playing Zarya, so I've been waiting for her to become meta. Um, not like this. <laughs> there you go. See, I knew he was charging, so I stepped in front of it and bubbled myself. Easy charge. Alright, and here's... What happened? Diva bomb, right? I'm so excited. Nope. One of them is, like, really long. Like that was that was exactly what Viva was talking about is when I bubbled myself to take this bomb and they hit me with an arrow and a grenade at the same time, took my bubble down and then the bomb killed me. Oh yeah. But hey, the map has both. What were you gonna ask? Uh in the charge, I mean do you get I didn't see what happened. Did you do you get booped aside? I mean he he doesn't get you. Does he just stop? Or what happens when Ryan charges a bubble Zarya? He he, gra he grabs you. Same as a normal charge. Okay. You just don't take the damage from it? It just gives you charge instead. Okay. Yeah. Like, see, I see him, so I, I knew the cart was right behind me, so I knew it was going to be an instant. So, just bubbled myself right when he hit, gave me the charge. Okay. Um, there is... So, yeah, bubbling somebody who's charged is huge, because you'll save their life, you'll get charged for it. However, like, if I were standing up here, and he came this way, and he grabbed me, and I bubbled myself... That bubble still has the same time limit on it, so it can run off before I hit a wall. And then that's just a feels bad. Sure, okay. A good Reinhardt can like maneuver himself so you won't actually, like he won't hit a wall until your bubble's up, but like I knew he couldn't do that because that was right behind me. Yeah. I was, so, I was like, how the hell? And I realized that. Junkrat, Junkrat, Junkrat. Yep. Got Junkrat. Yeah, I'm really slacking. I'm only at 20%. And this has been a long fight. Fortunately, my team picks up the slack and carries me. That run back from second point is smother. Yeah, one of them is like really long. It's like a small marathon. 
Yeah, I complained to Kudal saying about how bad I am. <laughs> Nah, that's Casual. not. That's, that wouldn't be possible because you could just build a turret up there and yeah. have it though. Don't nice. miss landing on the boat. <laughs> also. <laughs> Alright, the the here's a little secret that, that you might not know. If you go Sombra and you fit yourself you up here, wait. Mm -hmm. and then you throw your trance down at this blue light, well, like when you're defending a 2 CP map, you can, no, you can go inside. Ow. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. No, I hadn't it's seen that. It's still a dumb spread, but it's yeah, it does nothing. Like, completely it's completely stupid. meaningless. Can you get out? But it is a possibility. And then you can switch to whatever you want, and you'll still be inside. How should you even get in there? Hello. Are you? Oh, then you can just walk out. Yeah. I want to get in there. I see walk out here. Get to the game. Alright, the good news is we stopped him from pushing it all the way. Uh, just play the payload. I should that Hanzo tears down that shield now, it's crazy. I'll take over shielding duties. Shielding right side. Alright, we just lost our Hanzo. We just lost. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's exactly the incident I was talking about. Where she told me she was rezzing while she was rezzing, and I couldn't oh. do anything to Right. I got an orb you. on you. Alright, now our team decides, you know what? All right. We can just go this way. And my computer's like, that's a great idea. Let's disconnect you from the game. Man, that's a long time, too. People are always like, how can you tell you're being disconnected? I'm like, because everyone's just walking in place. Not ideal oh, you got completely team. disconnected. Yeah, yeah completely. Alright, now we get back in. Honestly, that disconnect saved me so much, oh, though. Geez, what? I lost oh. 16 ult charge. Alright, we're playing. Push him. We're like Distracted. a minute and a half in on that 16 ult charge. That was garbage anyway. Game on. Oh, sorry. For some reason, I didn't realize that it doesn't like tell you guys that it's on a cart. Pass down. On cart. On cart. Oh my god, he's spamming our chicken. Testing. It's above. Right out. Right out. Yeah. Three, Using my personal to build charge. Uh, it's a bad bubble. I tried to push up on that Mercy, but I couldn't get there. But we at least killed. Good shield, good shield. Well, Pretty sure I don't know what's going on right now. But. <laughs> but I know we've won this fight, so we can push forward. I'm very, like, aggressive. And I don't think the rest of my team is as aggressive as I am when. We win a fight, I want to push up pretty much all the way. And people will push up somewhat, and I get myself killed a lot because I push up too far, but I think, like, Three, two, one. we can win this right Cheddar. here. Alright, they're trying to get one more fight. Sorry, one point. Yeah. Discord. Zarya battles are dumb, like a Zarya 1v1. It's, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> Right. Hey, they're Mercy and their Hanzo right. just walk off the point into this room and give me those both those kills. And I picked up that health kit because I thought I needed it, but I was full health. Rally is so good. Sorry, um, this is how you should play Bridget, though. Yeah, we hit, we hit just rally outside of a fight because right, the armor is permanent. Okay. So when you're not in a fight, the everyone group up on the Bridget, have her press Q and build up their shields. Okay. For no real reason. For no real reason. Yeah. Or just don't run her at all. Which, honestly, Anybody have close I, don't I hate to say it, but it's a bad idea. She's so powerful right now that if you don't run her, it's gonna run right up top. They're up top. They're up top. They're Actually above us. Up top too. Yep. They're all above us. Ready? Yeah. Ready for like the, the cheekiest grab? Right. Oh yeah. They're all gonna hold He's up gonna here. Dragon. Dragon. Yeah. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, sorry. Nine. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can't grab people through walls, thin enough no, walls. So when I knew, I knew when they were all up there. That, 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 nice. uh, okay. that floor. It is a cheeky way to get them. There's not too many spots where it's actually worth doing it that way. But it seems like on this map, if they want to hold up there and you have a Zarya grab, just grab them there. Of course, you want to have something that can follow it up, like dragons. There's also... Uh... I'll lose the point. Um... See this. I'll just draw it then. 
you know Anubis, second point? Yes. There's the point. It's like in the building here, and then there's like the little bridge. Right? Oh, like shit, like oh shit. yes. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bridge here mm -hmm. with the mega under it. Yes. Uh, a lot of times, like, people like to fight, like, right here. If you just grab under the bridge right here, you'll, you'll grab them. Oh, okay. It's very, very situational, but it is a, a good little sneaky little spot. I've done it, like, twice. Because, like I said, it's very situational. Uh, they grabbed Dragoness. I was really proud because I got both my bubbles and saved two people and then realized that the rest of my team died. So just jump off the map. Oh, that's really sad to jump off as Zarya. I guess you weren't real high, so... I was gonna die regardless. Might as well not give him the ult charge for it. Alright, we're all back. Alright, and then they're holding up there. Um, I like to use right click. Um, yes, it's a tool that does damage, which is huge and a good thing to use. Uh, here we go. Walrus's reasons for using right click. Number one. Damage. I feel like um, David Letterman was my top ten list. Uh, number two. It boops people. Which is actually super powerful. If somebody's like walking up a narrow staircase, you can boop them off of it. They'll have to start all over. Ah. Um, soldiers on his heel station, you boop him out of it. And he's got to go back to it if he wants to. Okay. Uh, people are being evasive and AD spamming and whatnot. You boop them. They're airborne. They're flying in a predictable trajectory. You just laser them through it. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, you're not really... I mean, if the gods really love you, maybe you can boop somebody off the map, but I wouldn't rely on it. But number three, location. Um, let's see if I can get... So they're in this window here. I saw them go this way. I want to know if they're holding up here or if they've gone all the way back down. So I'm just right-clicking, and if I get a hit marker, people are still holding up here. Oh, nice. Okay. So that's information, and information is power. Here, I assume he's looking to shatter. I mean, he said, now oh, I see them shatter. Just fight him fighting here. I think they got shattered. So like I said, as soon as you drop shields, I bubble myself to try to get it. He's almost dead. He's dead. Alright. Ow. I'm looking to shatter. My shield's down. I can't. Oh, they resed him. He's gonna shatter for sure. I have a dragon. Uh, that's a lost fight. fight. We've lost the fight. fight. It's a lost fight. It's a lost yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm holding it. Yeah. That was unfortunate that they got that res off. I, I should have been paying more attention to it. Um, Zarya's pretty good at countering Bridget, because if you can well, we got shield yourself we before she stuns you, obviously she can't stun you. Um, you can get in the way of her mace, because yeah, it's all over the place, it's easy I'll to get charged, because she's just swinging it. Hmm. Like, we can drag in this point twice. Uh, your right click, if, if you hit the size oh, of her right, shield, right, 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 will right, damage right, right, her right, through right. it. Oh, shit. Like, even front on, like if you just hit the edge of it? Um, not the edge of it. You gotta hit, um, next to it. Like, here's Bridget. She looks stupid, because she's stupid, right? <laughs> yes. She's got her shield. She's also stupid and looks stupid. Yeah. I mean, if you hit, like, it, it, it will block it. But if you hit next to it, like, a little bit behind it, you can oh, get just the splash the damage on her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. On the just get the splash damage on her. Like, it's not like Reinhardt's shield where he's super away from the edges. Right, yeah. So, it's the same thing if you're playing McCree, just flash next to her shield and you'll stun her. Okay. Alright, we lost our Reinhardt, so we're backing out. Alright, Fez, let's look for it. 
Yeah, you can see I press tab a lot more than you do. I'll go up in the window. Alright, hit markers. I know oh, they're up there. Yeah. Now we have. Now we really know they're up there. I do. We have dragons. Let's do it again. I mean, I died. We killed their Reinhardt, though. The rest of them survived because they're. Um, Zenyatta Transcendence. Sorry, just Sorry, huh? But trading me for their Reinhardt, it's a pretty pretty good trade for us. Nice, nice. Push up, push up. We have yep. some Actually, now they're down both tanks and a support. Hanzo Discord. Yeah. My shield's down. I have another dragon. Yeah, standing right in front of Reinhardt is pretty fun because you can. Either they're gonna hold up their shield and you're just gonna laser their shield down, or they're gonna try to swing at you and you're gonna bubble yourself and get charged that way, or they're gonna charge you and you're gonna bubble yourself and get charged that way, or if they're really dumb, they're gonna shatter and you bubble yourself and you block it. And then they see nine. But yeah, so on defense, I had three grabs and I got zero people. Hey. On attack, I had two grabs and I think I got 11 people. Oh, it was this one. Oh, it was Fire at will. Oh, yeah, oh that was nice. <laughs> Hanzo was ready for it too. Oh, yeah. I like how you like... The poor yeah, it's super important over. you make sure you're... Like, I was like, you got dragons? I didn't get a card though. So Oh, because I disconnected, but we're still sad. And we never vote for Bridget. <laughs> well, what you should have done was... We'll vote for the enemy team before we'll vote for the Bridget. Because that, when we were on defense, I, threw, I had three grabs. I threw two into the D.Va and the third one. But yeah, I disconnected. I got silver objective kills. What the fuck? Wow. Nice. Yeah, anytime you yeah. get a hero that... Like, even if nobody wants to play, you just have to play, because otherwise you're going to lose. Like, that's how Mercy was for... A while too. Yeah. At least Arya is actually more fun. Oop. Yeah, I'm really enjoying her. Like I, I kind of want to get it figured out because I can kind of see the potential there, but want to get some more instinct on it. Yeah, it's a, it's just um, getting it to click, knowing knowing when to bubble, when to alt. When, when to left click, when to right click. It's not terribly complicated. She's got a pretty... She has one of the most straightforward kits. Because she's got two abilities. Bubble herself, bubble her teammate. Mm -hmm. It's not... They both do the same thing. It's not like, oh, you got uh, rockets and boosters and, and then you've got these shotguns that uh, unlimited ammo and then you blow yourself up and now suddenly you're a different hero now nah, it's like you got you got a bubble they get a bubble you pull people into a little black hole and you kill them. yeah there's a lot of timing and mental aspect to it yeah like I said when when the fight's beginning when you see somebody who's like in the middle of getting fucked up, you bubble them. Um, if somebody's charged, bubble them. If somebody's hooked, bubble them. If your Mercy's rezzing, bubble them. If May Blizzards, bubble yourself, bubble a teammate. Um, if you can be picky enough, I mean, be picky, but usually in the middle of an ultimate, I just turn and I hit, I try to just bubble the first person I see. And so you guys can get up. Same thing as if like if you guys end up in the middle of dragons, bubble yourself, bubble a teammate. It's like the oxygen masks. Bubble yourself first and then <laughs> help anyone around you. Sort of, yeah. But um yeah, the biggest thing's bubble management is pretty much they could rename Zarya to Bubble Manager. That's pretty much all that is to her, is now you want to bubble. Um, and again, like the biggest things I, I wanted to reiterate, personals for building charge, secondaries for keeping teammates alive. 
um, personals on a 10 second cooldown. So by the time it's off cooldown, you'll have lost 20 charge. Secondary is on an eight, you'll have lost 16 charge. So in order to gain charge, these are the numbers you have to beat. Um, like I said, I usually aim for 40 in both. I'm disappointed if I don't get 40, but it, I don't count as a wasted bubble unless I get less than 30. Yeah, that that really helps to like figure out as I'm playing around with it, you know, what was worth doing and what was just a waste. But to be fair, um, if it's a wasted bubble, you usually get like five. Oh, five charge. Uh, yeah. So it's pretty, uh, pretty obvious. Um, try and think. Bubble does clear all status effects. Um, it won't wake up a sleeping person now. I'll bubble a sleeping person though. If they're like, if they get slept in the middle, I'll bubble them, keep them alive long enough for them to get up when they can't defend themselves. Does it clear uh, anti nade? It does. If somebody's anti'd, it will take it away. Nice. Um, the important things are knowing what the other team is running to know like what things you want to focus on. Um, if they're running like a Reinhardt, you want to be ready to see if you can block it. But again, that's not that's not a huge part of your kit. That's just a fun thing you can do to piss them off. <laughs> uh, but you do want to be paying attention to if he charges somebody, you want to have a bubble ready for that. Um, same thing with Roadhog. If he hooks somebody, you want to have a bubble ready for that. Uh, Tracer, if she sticks somebody, you want to have a bubble ready for that. If she's like on your Zenyatta, have a bubble ready for that. It's just these things that are going to do burst damage really quick or mow somebody down super fast. You want to have a bubble ready. Um, like I said, my magic number is 60. I try to sit around 60 because... I'm doing a fuck ton of damage at 60, and if uh, when we get in a team fight, one bubble will get me to 100, and then I'm just going to start killing everything. I also just turned this into Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so when you say you sit around 60, like once you're kind of in that range, you don't worry about charging it so much, and you're kind of saving it for the team fight. Is that right? Right. Yeah. When I'm at 60, well, generally when I'm in 60, at 60. Or either in a team fight or we just finished a team fight. But once I'm at 60, I'm more focusing on saving this, like exclusively for saving teammates. And my personal will be more for either A, get me to 100 real quick, or B, saving myself. Okay. It's less about pretty much there's, I heard somewhere that there's two ways to play Zarya there's a selfless Zarya and selfish. Uh, and people play in this video he's talking about the people play one of the two ways and like connotations aside it's not like one's better than the other it's just a play style where selfish Zarya's are using their bubbles to build charge and try to be 100, 100 charges Zarya all the time killing everything while selfless Zarya's are doing more what I say where you keep your personal to build charge your secondary to but what I how I play is I sort of I play selfish until I'm at my magic number, and then once I'm there, I'll play selfless and I'll focus on keeping. All right, that seems like a good compromise. Yeah. Because if I'm at low charge, I'm not helping the team at all. Even if, I mean, bubbling somebody and to save them is big, and I will do that. But again, at the beginning. Until I'm at my magic number, I'm not really doing anything for the fight. I'm saving people, but they're pretty much already down a man because I'm not doing anything. So getting myself charged up gets me to be actually a part of the team and actually part of the fight and an important member in the fight. So then it actually is a 6v6 instead of a 5.5v6. Mm -hmm. And then once I'm there, I'll focus on keeping people, like exclusively on keeping people up and stuff. That doesn't mean when I'm selfish, I'm not focused on keeping people up. It's just when I'm selfless, I'm exclusively focusing on that. Right. Man, that really helps me clarify like how to think about all this stuff. So that, that's great. 
Yeah, because there's like, yeah, I know what you mean. Because it's trying to figure out a play style. But I don't know. Do you have questions or anything? One of my, I don't know if this is a question. One of my main problems is just getting focused on something and like get in that brawl phase. Like when we're at the beginning, I'm behind my main tank shield. I know the counts. Like I know who's alive and dead. And then we get in the brawl phase and I don't pay attention to anything. Monkeys jump past me and I don't even see them. And I don't know who's alive and who's dead. And that's one of the main things I'm working on is not getting that tunnel vision and just shooting the one person that I'm shooting at and forgetting everything else. Yeah, I um, have a similar issue. Um, I'm trying to force myself to focus on the kill feed more. It's like constantly be glancing up at it. Um, when I'm not in a fight, I'm constantly mashing tab to keep myself informed on what my team has and how their team is doing. Um, and then I do the tunnel vision too, where I'll jump on somebody and be like, this is who I'm killing. But... I don't know, there are times when you just kind of have to peel yourself away. Um, where, because, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how to word it. Like, my default, when we're in a team fight and I don't have a target that I'm, like, specifically, like, I got to kill this target, which is, you've seen my list. If there's somebody super out of position, I'll die, like, their primary. Or if there's low support, low mobility supports that I can get to. It's very different as Zarya, right? Because you don't have that mobility to just be like, oh, there's somebody way back here. Let me get on them. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much have to deal with what's in front of you. So if somebody's feeding, obviously go on that first. But when I'm not engaged with somebody that is my primary target, I will be lasering tanks. Tanks give me ult charge. So, and, they're up, and they're up front. Okay. Especially Diva. And I'll just be doing that pass like that's sort of my path to just shoot shoot the diva. Shoop, shoop, shoop. <laughs> and then um and then either I'll see something like I'll see, oh, all of a sudden there's an Ana right here who's super free, or a Hanzo that's super free, who's way up front with his tanks, and I'll switch and I'll take care of them. Or my team will call out, Hey, the Mercy's one, and then I'll try to help them focus the Mercy. But in the meantime, I'm just I'm just Laser and tanks building up my old church. All right, cool. I know it's a, a lot of information. Yeah, I kind of have to just process it. Um, I was recording this. I'll probably watch through a bunch of it again and put it up for Kettle too. Uh, but man, I really, really appreciate it. That helps so much to just know. I mean, even when you watch again, like you kind of know what you think you maybe should have done instead. But yeah, somebody helping you who really knows that that helps out a lot. Yeah, it's uh, watching. It's good. Uh, focus on what things went right, what things went wrong, how you can change things, um, where you can improve. Uh, I'm trying to. Think. Zarya, I really like Zarya because she's really good at teaching you how to track. Like She's super easy to track with because she's got that big pointer in front of her. Mm -hmm. So I feel like she helps you learn that a lot. Uh, I've definitely improved my M a lot by playing Zarya. Yeah, I get to see how good I am or not <laughs> at tracking people with that. All right, because you got a big laser sight pretty much. It's yeah. Super. Yeah, but she's a good good for learning it. I feel like I hate that crosshair though. Like you see, oh, of course I went to the one like one point where there isn't a crosshair on my screen. I noticed oh, yours. Yeah, you got that little right. one. Yeah. Yeah, I just use the, I use this crosshair for every hero. It's a little green. I can see it, but it's not overwhelming because you you shouldn't aim with your crosshair. Wow, that was awful. Your crosshair is sort of like a supplementary tool. You get, you know where the middle of your screen is. You aim there, and then your crosshair is just there to kind of confirm it. 
pretty much when I'm playing, you don't even really see your crosshair. You're looking because you don't look at your crosshair when you're playing. You look at your target. Hmm. All right. And that's with everybody? Yeah. Okay. I know I'm definitely okay. using that crosshair a lot with Soldier and some more aimed specific heroes like that. Now look at look at your uh, look at your target, not your crosshair. Okay. I mean, put your crosshair on the person, but it should be pretty much going there automatically because you know where the middle of your screen is. Okay. I used to do drills, and I do them every once in a while, where I'll go in like a aim practice mode, where it's like you know on a bots or something like that. Where I really like Lucios because they're fast and annoying, and I'll just turn my crosshair off and I'll play like that. Hmm. Okay. Now, obviously with Zarya, it's not as effective because you still have a big laser beam pointing at <laughs> Well, right, yeah. But if you ever have any, um, any I'll go over any VODs because I really like going over VODs because they help me focus on what I do wrong too. Um, but I'll go over pretty much any, any hero, anything for you. I s won't be as helpful with tanks or, well, main tanks or support because I'm not very good at those, but I'll still, I'll still go over them. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, I'll, uh, I record a lot of, if I, man, if I remember to push the button, um, I record a lot of the comp games I do and stuff like that, so, yeah, I'll throw some up. Alright, yeah, just let me know whenever and I'm done. Cool. Thanks, man. That goes, that goes, that goes for anyone on the Mongooses. I won't go over Bridget gameplay, though. Okay, no, I, I won't be playing here. Yeah, I'll tell you to uninstall the game and go hang, <laughs> hang your head in shame. <laughs> As I would deserve. All right, but yeah, if you ever have any questions or anything at all, feel free to shoot them to me, and we can discuss them. Awesome. Will do. Thanks a lot. Hey, my pleasure. See you, man. Have a good night.